Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make one layer knitted hat for newborn and for adult on the same knitting machine. I'll be using uh, Addy 46 needles. You can do this one on 46 or 48 needles. So these two both were made on this knitting machine. You need yarn. This time I will be using Red Heart Super Saver. This is not a soft yarn, so it's a bit hard to work with this one, but I like the color, so I use this one. For this hat, you need crochet hook. For the adult one, I used 5.5 millimeters, and for child, for newborn, 5.5, 4.5. And you need stitch markers to mark the loop that you'll be working with. So let's start. Many times I've gotten the question, how can I make a newborn or baby hat and an adult hat with the same knitting machine, 46 needles or 48 needles. So I want to show you these two samples. This is a gauge sample that I made. I have the same core uh, row count, 35 rounds. This is with tight tension, 46 needles, tight tension. And um, this one is the same for the six needles, but it's medium tension, the same 35 rounds. So if I put this one beside this one, I can see that the size is different. So this is the way that you can make different sizes. For a newborn, if I stretch it this way, then the width is smaller and even the stitches are smaller. For an adult, I will have to stretch it this way because I need to be wider. So, And uh, every yarn is different. This is um, Red Heart Super Saver. It's, n it's not soft, so it's a little hard to work with this one. With some yards, a yarn, you can do even uh, a tight tension than this one. So this is for an adult hat. Cast on in front of the first black needle. In front, back, front, back. You need a short tail. You can leave it a little longer. Like this. So front, back all the way around and all the time the yarn for the last needle has to be in the back if it's in the back that means the cast on it's correctly place the yarn in the feeder I will keep it here because I want to keep the tension it's going to be medium loose or loose for an adult hat depending on the um, yarn that you have so I don't leave it loose just I keep a little tension not too much reset the counter to zero Make sure that the loop is down for the first needle and keep knitting 40 rounds um, because the tension is loose you may have um, problems with the stitches the loops will lift up and you will have to pull them down but you go slower and you fix the stitches if you have problems or after a couple of rounds you can put some weights and you eat more easily or I like if you have the possibility to pull down the yarn in front of the ma knitting machine it's harder or if you have um, a tensioner you can do like this 
but I don't like to use in this one because I need a loose tension and I don't like how it comes for this specific hat and then you can place your hand here and when you need you pull the stitches down but in this case I cannot do that so I'll do like this I'll show you so I have to go slowly because this hat is for an adult hat and I need the hat to be wide So I make sure that all the stitches, the loops are down. So I like to use weights and then helps me with the drop stitches. So you need 40 rounds until you have 40 rounds. So I have 40 rounds, this is my last round, don't cut the yarn, just release it, I like to place it here or how you want to do it, and then I will pick up the stitches with a waist yarn with different color. So this was my last one, and then I pick up the stitches with waist yarn all the stitches around the top that I made this is the beginning you can pull the yarn so first stretch your work okay the hat looks good so this was the cast on for this part you just pull oh here I have a tuck stitch I'll have to fix this one. Okay, so if you have this situation, because this is the cast on, it's on this side, I'll have to unravel all this round up until to this one here. So is this one. I'm not mistaken so I will do this part you can watch or you can skip and I will show you how I fix it after I took it out from the machine I don't know I think I have two rounds that I have to fix so for me this is the method I don't know how you fix when you have something like this I'll have to unravel from the cast off so this is my cast off and I will come down this way just make sure that the round is the one that you want to work so this one looks fine it's 
this one to make sure I will do these two rounds so it's this stitch and this one because I don't know I cannot be sure on each one is the problem so I can see that something is wrong here here I see two strands of yarn so it should be on this one but even this one doesn't look good so how I fix this one doesn't matter if um, you cast it off with waste yarn like in my situation this is easy or if you cast it off with the working yarn the process is the same what you have to do so you have to pick up a different color of yarn so you need different color and pick up the stitches until you get to the one that you need to fix so I'll pick up this one so these two I want to fix these two but to be able to do that I have to take the yarn off so to do that I had to place a different yarn over there okay so I can take these two off and I have to take the yarn because I will undo these two all the way down so these are secured these are secured I'm just I'm leveling these two So this is the problem that I have. Now it looks okay for both of them. I will do one sign, doesn't matter which one I'm doing. I just keep one loop here, I don't want to lose it. And then I take a crochet hook, 5.5. .5, and this is how I redo the row so make sure that you pick up the loops on the same you don't uh, switch them and you pick up them correctly so this is the loop pick up the next one bring it under and go all the way up so this is how you make them back so do this way all the way up make sure that you don't switch between them now take this yarn bring in other this is one is fixed pick up the next loop and do the same all the way up So now I have to put my working, um, this is the waist one, but pick the loops all again on the same yarn. Make sure that you don't pick the other yarn. And now just stretch this one and it will fix itself after you stretch the work and you will not see that the stitches were fixed. 
sorry for this interruption but maybe you needed to see this one okay so uh, this was the cast off this is the cast on so with cast on you just pull the yarn and all the time here I have one loop that I like to take the yarn like this and just close this part of the head like usually you do with any head if you want I like to do that I like to go around one more time so this is my last one and go to the left and pick up all the loops all the way around and I do like this okay, all the way around So I think this was the beginning. Pull it close, make sure that you don't break the yarn. So now I like to go inside and finish here the head. You have to make a knot, a double knot. And I like to do it here in the loops that I worked before because maybe I will use this side of the head as well to be reversible so I want to be able to hide the tail without being seen at the end and then just go on the cup of all flips to hide the yarn So the top of the hat is done and now this like I said this is for an adult and I want to be a beanie not a slouchy hat so usually it's eight inch eight and a half nine inches depends on the person that wears it and how likes to to look so this one has already eight inches I will finish the hat with single crochet and you need 5.5 millimeters hook and like I said before we didn't cut the yarn and I can use the yarn without attaching a new a new one you see this was the the loops the round that I undo this too but I will stretch it at the end after I finish everything so now if you want place a stitch marker in the loop that you have the yarn to know which one was the last one and then take the crochet hook place it under this loop and the one next this one so I'll work under these two loops take the working yarn yarn over bring in bring it up, up uh, under the first loop I have two loops yarn over and bring it under both of them I have one loop go to the next one I have two yarn over bring the yarn after bring the yarn under the first one I have two loops yarn over under both of them so do this way all the way around this one here 
keep a loose tension because you want to be able to put the hat on your head so so the hat has to be stretchable or if you work your um, you like to work a, a tight loop then you have to use a bigger size this is 5.5 So do this way all the way around. So I worked in all of them. This is the stitch marker that I started with. And now, because this hat is just 8 inch long, inches long, I want to be 8.5. I will work 2 or 3, I don't know how many rounds around. I will see. I want to be the hat to be 8.5 inches long so now I will take you can place a stitch marker on this one I don't want to lose it but I want to take off the waist yarn so make sure that you worked in all the stitches okay this one I it was the stitch marker that I placed so this is safe and just pull the yarn and make sure before you go to the next step make sure that you can stretch the hat okay so and like I said this this is not enough for an adult when I when you stretch it comes even shorter so I want to do more rounds with your, a my crochet hook so now I will do different than the other video that I did with the newborn hat on that one I did single crochet all the way around on this one I will work just in the back loop only so I'll be working just in these loops all the time so this is a V usually I have to work under both of them to place the needle the crochet hook under both of the loops but in this situation I will finish the hat with single crochet in back loop Back, back loop so like this okay this is my last one and I will start I will go around and I don't have beginning and end but I will place a stitch marker all the time for the last one to know where my row ends so on this one the next one like I said I don't pick up both of them I go just in the back I take the back one bring the yarn under and yarn under both go in the next one just in the back loop yarn over under the first loop yarn over under both again keep loose tension you can choose to finish how you want this style it's single crochet back loop only so I repeat this in all the loops I will stop here and I will show you the next step. So I'm almost at the end of the round. This one was the last one. And like I said, I want to work more rounds. So then I take the stitch marker, place it here, I move it up. And do the same. I don't stop. I don't do nothing. I just go around. I mean spiral. So keep moving and stop at this one. If you are pleased with the length of the head or beanie, then you have you can stop and close the head. Or if you want, you can crochet one more round. So I will finish this one. The same back loop only. So this will be my last one and I think I'm going to stop here because I don't want the beanie to be too long. So I should work in this one as well but I think I'll finish here. And how I finish is this way. I cut the yarn, I leave a tail 
and I just pull this one here so I worked in the last one like normally I will do like in this one and then in the next one yarn over and bring under this one and this one as well like this pull the yarn take the stitch marker and I will try to fix it so this was the beginning so I go uh, like this under this one I think I will just pull this one a bit come in the back and find some loops that you can go under make sure that you like how it looks and then you have to make a knot to make sure that it doesn't unravel I like to do one more some make sure that it's loose like I said before to be able to use the head and now I will go up a couple of stitches up to hide Cut the yarn and this is the adult beanie hat one layer so this is for a spring or if it's warm outside and anyway you want to have a beanie and you can use it this side and if you don't have any attachments you can use this one and you don't have any knots in here this was where I had to redo so if I stretch it it will fix it and especially after I wash it can in the front so like I said this is the beanie hat one layer so at the end I have it's almost nine inches long depends how you stretch it when it's stretched it's eight and a half eight Per eight and a half if you want and you like this brim to be wider then stop at 35 or depends how much you want to do and then do more rounds around but make sure that you work loose so you can stretch the head for the baby head cast on the same like for the adult one So this is back front it's good the difference is in the tension and the row count so now you have to keep tight tension um, counter to zero so keep the tension as tight as your machine can handle you do one round and if you see that it's too tight just then loosen up okay so don't don't break your machine for one hat. So I'm holding tighter than the one for the adult one. For this hat, I will need 25 rounds or 20 rounds. I will see how much. I mean, I have 
this gauge and um, so I will I will need here is approximately 20 rounds and this will be enough and then I will do the brim so I will stop at 20 rounds okay. so I have 20 rounds I will stop now because I don't want to be too long don't cut the yarn just place it over there or place it in the middle of the machine and then pick up the stitches with waist yarn so again this is my last stitch first loop to the left and pick up all the loops all the way around So I picked up all the loops Where is my beginning? It's this one So this is the cast on Pull up the yarn Stretch your work, make sure that you don't have tucked stitches So like always I don't know this I have this situation so I just pull this on and then this part you can cinch it so with this yarn with 20 rounds I have four inches so for a newborn it's four and a half five depends on the baby so I will um, I think it's enough you have to measure and see with your yarn how many rounds you need on this one I don't think I will go one more time around I'll just cinch it closed With different yarn I can cinch it all the way without seeing anything here but with this yarn looks that it's harder so I'll move it around to make sure that it closes I'm not sure why, but I cannot close it all the way this time. So I will close it this way. Maybe when I'm going around one more time, it helps out, I don't know. So I'll go in the back. And make a knot, a double knot. Do the same, go under a couple of the loops, and then I'll do again another knot. Make sure that your work is clean and you can use both sides of the head if it's possible. Then I am hiding back. So now on 
this side I will do the same as for the adult one. So you see it's not so wide because it's a tight tension and um, I will use even a different crochet hook. I will use 4.5 this time so this is smaller and the same if you want you can use stitch markers this is the last one but I will pick up this one and you know that you worked already in this one and the next to it and do the same as for the adult one So first step, yarn over, under first loop, yarn over, under both of them. Make sure that it's under the hook. You have one loop, pick up the next one. You have two, yarn over, under the first one, yarn over, under the both. Again, pay attention to the tension not so tight so again but like I said anyway the crochet hook is smaller than before so do this way all the way around I have one more so I worked in this one already this is my last one I'll pull out the waist yarn So now I want to do the same as for the adult one. I will go around and work in the back loop only. Okay, so this is my first one. You can see where the stitch marker is. Pick up this loop, yarn over, under this one. I have two yarn over, under both. So now I'm placing the stitch marker here to know where to stop if I want to stop here but I will do two or three more rounds I want to have four and a half inches uh, yes four and a half inches for this hat so just work in back loop only so I'm back to the beginning of the round but I want to do one more so um, just keep going I will just move the stitch marker to know where to stop so go around one more time pay attention to the um, stitches to be loose to be able to stretch the head so in this situation with this this one was made on 46 yes the same like this one you wouldn't say that it's possible but look it is possible for this one I kept a loose tension for this one a tight tension and even the crochet hook uh, I finished them I will finish this one different so this one is smaller and this one is bigger and even here if you think that it's too loose for the baby that you want to use so this will be six inches if you think it's maybe you don't see because I have both of them if you think the hat it's it's too big because it's six inches usually for a newborn you need five or five and a half or I don't know you can use a smaller crochet hook smaller than this one and then when you use a smaller crochet hook then this will tighten up so um i will do one more round with this one and see how long it's so i finished this round but i don't think it's enough so it depends i mean if you stretch the hat then it's longer so um 
you decide how long you want to be this one it's if, if I stretch it it's five inches so I think I can stop I will stop here and then it will be the same as for the adult one three rounds so um, I'll do the same like on the other one I'll just go under this one bring the yarn under and now under both of them I will cut the yarn pull this one it's not finished yet because you have to secure it so just um, bring it to the back and make a knot over there So I will go under this one. Like this. I think it's okay and I will do. You do the knot where you think it's not visible. And then hide the yarn go up and down a couple of more stitches or loops so this is the newborn and this is just four and a half five inches And it's six inches like this but like I said if you want uh, if you want to be um, tight tighter then use a smaller crochet hook but make sure that it's loose so you can put the head on your baby's head so this is how you can make a newborn hat an, or an adult one on the same knitting machine this one maybe it's a bit too long you can do it shorter if you want or longer if you want to be a slouchy hat thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to my channel have a great